So this is probably the final piece ng K series, K60 series ng Redmi. And pinag-usapan natin is the all new K60 Ultra. Actually naririnig natin no na pinatay na ni Xiaomi ang K60 gaming line. So this would be probably the final piece sa kanilang puzzle dito sa K60 series. And sobrang beefy tong phone na ito. It is packed with the all new Dimensity 9200 Plus. So gusto natin i-try dito kung kano kaganda itong bagong chip ni MediaTek. Would it be good or would it be hot? Malalaman natin after this quick intro. Hi guys! I'm Pastor Richman, the Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. And this is the Redmi K60 Ultra. And nabili ko ito sa Shandy Masangkai. Ang kanang 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gig of storage is priced at 26,500 pesos. And it comes in three color. Either go for the black, the white, or the green variant. Ang meron natin dito is color green. Tara, buksan muna natin. So guys, ito na yung bagong Redmi K60 Ultra. And remind you guys, this is a China ROM phone. So everything walang Google Play Store but nakatago lang siya and mabilis lang siya i-unlock. Papakita ko a little bit later. And so ang hawak natin is 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigs of storage. And color natin is color green. Buksan natin. So opening the box. So this is a uh, powered by Redmi. So meron tayong SIM injector tool. Meron tayong quick start guide. Meron din tayong jelly case. And ito na yung phone. Honestly, medyo cheap ang kanyang packaging this time around. It's just a plastic. Parang naalala ko, ganito din si Poco. Anyway, buksan natin. Good. Uy, maganda. Mala one plus ang kanyang color. Ah. Other things inside the box, we have your Type-C cable. And andyan ang ating 120 watts of fast charging brick. So, ang ganda ng kanyang camera bump dito sa likod. No? Parang mala Poco F5 Pro na medyo pinalapad lang ng konti. We have your power button, volume rocker. Sa ibaba, we have your loudspeaker. Then, nandiyan ang kanyang uh, noise cancelling mic. And of course, air blaster. Then, on the other side, it's pretty clean. And sa ilalim, we have your SIM tray, yung uh, microphone in, Type-C port, and of course, your loudspeaker. And of course, nandiyan ang kanyang punch hole na camera. So, yun guys, sakita na natin ang full unboxing ng K60 Ultra ni Redmi. And it looks very familiar. Ang kanyang color looks quite like the Xiaomi 13 series na halos ganito ang color. But for me, ang impression ko, mas kamukha niya ang green ng OnePlus 11. Very simple ang kanyang color dito, yet it's very striking. Makita mo dito is medyo mala flagship ang kanyang body. Ang kita natin ang kanyang camera module is almost the same doon sa Poco F5 Pro. Medyo pinalapad nila ng konti, but it's almost similar. So, sundutin lang natin ang kanyang SIM tray. And makita natin, do, dalawang 5G SIM lang kaya nito, hindi mo pwede lagyan ng micro SD expansion. So what's really nice dito sa phone na ito is ang kanyang form factor and yung aking grip dito sa phone na ito. It's saktong-sakto dito sa aking kamay. Ang sarap hawakan, no? And sa likod niya, smooth siya. Yung nga lang ang problema ng pagka-smooth niya is medyo maraming fingerprint. So I would suggest na lagyan mo na lang ng case just to lessen yung mga smudges dito sa likod. And another thing na na-appreciate ko sa kanya is rounded dito sa kanyang likod. So hindi siya masyadong edgy. Now another thing na napansin ko dito is kanyang screen. Makita mo guys doon na symmetrical ang kanyang bezel. Hindi mas makapal ang baba, hindi mas magnipis ang sides, but it's exactly the same based sa aking paningin. And ang kanyang punch hole is quite small ang kanyang front-facing camera. Now, itong phone na ito has a blazing fast na processor, ang latest na offering ni MediaTek, which is the Dimensity 9200+. Plus. And tinay naman natin siya sukatin dito sa Antutu benchmark and was able to get a score na almost near do sa Snapdragon na 8 Plus Gen 2. Nakuha natin dito is 1.51 million points which is quite impressive. And of course, huwag na natin compare sa overclock edition ni Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 2 dahil yun naka 1.6M. And if you break it down, ito naman ang score na mabibigay niya sa'yo. Now, I would admit ito phone na ito medyo mainit siya. Probably hindi pa masyadong perfect ang Dimensity 9200+. Plus. After siguro a few firmware updates dito sa phone nito via OTA, which is over-the-air update dito uh, sa Xiaomi Mi UI 14, I think uh, it might be more stable kasi this is relatively a new chip ni MediaTek. So I think in optimize pa ni Xiaomi dito sa phone nito. 
So dito sa wild life na extreme stress test, nakakuha naman tayo ng 93% na stability dito sa kanya, which is quite good. But itong result is gathered within a air-conditioned room. Now, pag wala ka sa loob ng aircon and naka-electric fan ka lang at medyo mainit ang panahon, medyo hirap siya. Ito naman score na kuha na sa Geekbench na CPU test. And ito naman ang score niya sa GPU test niya. Now, running this test for more than 6 times, paulit-ulit kong ginawa, ay nag-trottle tong phone na ito to 86% na kanyang max performance. Now, this is tested within a air-conditioned room. And pag wala ka sa loob ng air-conditioned room, ito ang result na makuha mo. Nag-trottle siya to 79% ng kanyang max performance. So, basically, those are just benchmark malalaman natin later when we do our game test dito sa phone na ito. Now, the phone na ito has four variants. Meron siyang 12256, meron siyang 16256, meron siyang 16512, and 161 of storage. Now, itong phone na ito is running inside the Android 13 na system, and ito ay isang Xiaomi MIUI 14 na heavily customized Android UI. And what I have dito is a 16512 na variant, so meron tayo 16 plus 6 na RAM extension. Now, itong phone na ito has a big battery storage, 5,000 mAh, and what's nice dito is 120 watts of fast charging na meron dito. So, charging from 10 to 100 is just taking you around mga 20 minutes tapos na mag-charge itong phone na ito. Now, itong phone na ito was able to survive in one whole day of usage as long as you're using it normally, walang heavy gaming, kayang-kaya naman niya ibigay sa'yo ng one whole day. Now, itong phone na ito is having a 6.67-inch na OLED display. Meron siyang 144Hz of screen refresh rate. The only problem dito sa phone na ito is either you can choose between 60 or 144. Medyo missing sa kanya is you can use 90, 120. Pwede mo lang siya iset sa automatic. And this one also supports Dolby Vision and it has a very high na brightness, 2,600 nits. And pwede siya mag-display up to 2K. So watching your favorite shorts dito, mga reels and videos on YouTube, TikTok, or sa Facebook, very smooth ang experience dito. And I would say na sobrang sarap dito. Nag-enjoy ako browsing through my favorite social media. And itong phone na ito has a level 1 na Wi-Fi security level. So you can watch your HD dito sa mga online streaming apps na paborito niyo. So I did try to watch some videos dito sa YouTube. What's nice dito sa kanya is symmetrical lang ka ng mga bezel. So the view experience is definitely good. And the black is blacker and yung colors niya is definitely punchy. So I watched a couple of episodes of isang Korean drama na sinusubaybayan ko. I was able to enjoy it dito sa phone na ito. So we'll just do a quick sound test dito sa phone na ito. So papakinggan na natin kung gano'ng kalakas ang kanilang loudspeaker dito. So here goes. Well, for me, quite loud and quite decent ang kanyang loudspeaker dito. Pag nakasagad sa 100% ng volume. So right now, mag-game test na tayo dito. So, tinurn on natin ang kanyang game turbo mode. Then, nilaro natin dito tatlong games. So, I did play Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, and of course, ang Tower of Fantasy. Itong tatlong game na ito, nilaro natin more than 30 minutes or near one hour each. And, well, honestly, si Call of Duty Mobile, maning maninala dito. So, I was able to enjoy this uh, game. Ang game is very responsive. This, the sounds is really loud. And halos flawless itong game na ito. I was able to put it to max settings and sobrang smooth ang game na ito. Halos hindi masyado naman nag-init tong phone na ito. Just normal warming lang ng phone. Then after that, nilaro naman natin tong dalawang game na ito. Si Genshin Impact and si Tower of Fantasy. Both of these are medyo mas mataas ang requirement nila sa, sa GPU. So, both of these games for the first 15 minutes, masasabi ko, it's quite smooth. Okay naman siya. Ang ganyang gameplay, wala naman napansin. No? So, after mga 15 minutes or running towards the 30 minutes, mapapansin mo konti na umiinit yung phone sa likod. So, Tines ko using my thermometer dito sa likod, I was able to get a roughly 43 to 43.5 degrees Celsius dito sa part na ito near the camera. Probably nandito ang CPU. So, ito yung pinaka hottest point. No? But hindi naman siya yung sobrang nakakapaso, but warm talaga siya and I would highly suggest na gumamit kayo ng cooler dito para medyo mas gumamit na mabilis. Now, ang gameplay dito, itong dalawang game na ito, I can say smooth naman siya. But there are times na mafe-feel mo, there's quite a couple of frame drops along the way. So, lala pong medyo heavy na ang battle uh, during tong game na ito. 
ba? Kasi yung mga level ng kalaban medyo mas ma- mahihirap na. So, ma-feel mo talaga na there's quite some frame drops. But hindi naman siya sobrang heavy frame drops. Just mga bigang pasuldap-suldap na frame drops na mapapansin mo along the way. But the gameplay is definitely good. Now, itong phone na ito has triple camera setup. Meron siya 50MP na wide sensor with OIS. Then meron siya 8MP na ultra wide lens and a 2MP macro lens. What's nice dito, it can shoot up to 8K and 24fps. And ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 20MP na shooter na can only shoot up to 1080 and 30, which is quite a letdown for me. Alam mo si Xiaomi, very notorious siya pagdating sa mga front-facing camera. The only phone existing na Xiaomi is Xiaomi CB3 that can shoot up to 4K and 30. The rest, but this is Xiaomi 13 Ultra, can only shoot up to 1080 and 60. I wish ang newer resolution mo Xiaomi, you should be making 4K sa mga flagship phone mo or mga high, upper mid range phone mo, just like this one. Now, nilabas ko tong phone na ito on outdoor. One thing na mapapansin ko dito is hindi saturated mga photos dito. It's quite natural. And ang bilis ng focusing dito din sa niya. So, napansin ko up ah, when I take a snap, lalo ko gusto ko yung medyo blur ko yung background, like this one. Dalaga ng fo-focus sa subject ka. Ah. Like, Mag-tinap ko yung flower na ito, ito pula, nag- nag-focus siya, dinili ko na blur out. And it looks really nice yung kanyang photo giving you that medyo dramatic na feel dito sa photo na ito. And the rest of the other flowers na nakuha ko is quite good. So ginamit natin ang kanyang ultra wide lens. This is the result. This is the normal shot. And this is a 2 times zoom shot. So mapapansin mo ang colors dito sa ultra wide lens niya and ang kanyang normal lens is not super same. Mapapansin mo sa color ng sky. And dinala ko naman siya sa indoors as well. So was able to take some good shot. Hindi naman siya sobrang uh, magiging yummy yung food but nevertheless I can say na it's quite okay yung mga food shots just like this one inside a coffee shop na itong phone na ito kinesin natin ang kanya night mode and this are the result this is a ultra wide shot this is a normal shot and this is a two times zoom shot okay na okay siya this one was taken at around mga 7 in the evening now ginamit ko naman kanya selfie camera taking it outdoors is just normal okay naman siya nothing really special I would agree na this camera sa harap even though na it's just a uh, 1080 and 60 but yung kind of 20 MP camera taking photos ah, can perform outdoors okay naman mga shots na nakuha ko and bringing indoors medyo a little bit whitish mapapansin mo dito on some photos na nakuha ko but there are times na okay naman mga shots niya now, shooting some videos using the front-facing camera, 1080 and 30. One thing that you should admire dito sa kanya is stable siya. Hindi siya matagtag. And the video quality is just okay. Well, nothing really special that it's just a 1080 and 30. But overall, ang kanyang quality, I can say it's still acceptable. Now, using the rear camera, taking this video on a 4K and 60fps the resolution, okay naman ang kanyang video. Quite stable naman while walking. But there are times na mapapansin mo pag na nakakita siya ng different lights medyo nag-adjust ang kanyang camera didilim, liliwanag didilim, liliwanag uh, I think uh, mas slower siya a bit on adjusting sa lightings but kung stable naman yung mga lightings like ito nakuha ko dito sa ng coffee shop the video quality is quite good so guys ano verdict natin dito sa Redmi K60 Ultra. Now, the phone na ito, I would say it's the latest na MediaTek, which is the Dimensity 9200+. Plus. Powerful siya, and it was able to give me a good gaming experience naman dito sa phone na ito. Though, it's a little bit hot, but using a gaming cooler might help, or maybe in the future update, baka ma-resolve naman ni, ni Redmi dito sa phone na ito. Overall, ang kanyang feel is definitely good. Maybe ang kailangan fix ni Redmi dito is a little bit of the heating issue. Overall, ang kanyang camera is good. Ang kanyang gaming experience is also good. And watching video dito is giving me a good experience. Now, what I recommend tong phone na ito for 26,500 pesos, well, for me, I would really buy this phone kasi all of the good specs nandito sa kanya and this one looks even like a flagship phone ni Xiaomi. But if your problem is that China ROM siya, no problem, Google Play Store installation is just very easy. Now, to install Google Play Store, madali lang naman magda-download lang tayo ng Google Play Store APK sa APK Pure. Then, install lang natin siya. After natin ma-install, makita mo, nandito na yung Play Store. So, pag-boss mo ng Play Store, ayan na, pwede na kayo mag-sign in. It's really 
easy. Like I said, nakatago lang Google Play Store. All you need to do is just kigisingin nila talaga siya. So guys, mabibili nito phone na ito sa Shandy Masangkay. I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And if you're outside Metro Manila, I'll be posting a link from Lazada kung saan na pwede rin mabili ito phone na ito. So guys, kung may natutunan kayo sa video nito, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, and of course, hit yun yung bell icon para di naman sa future uploads here on my channel. And so, ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watch out! Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.